What's your story? What uh, from childhood? What are some fond memories you have? Fond memories? Where did you grow up? Well, I don't give away that information. <laughs> in the United States? For you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Virginia. In Virginia. So, yeah. What are some rough moments? What are some beautiful moments that you remember? I I had a very good family growing up. Um, the the like rough moment, and I'll, I'll tell you a story that just happened to me two days ago, and it fucked me up, man. It really didn't. You'll be the first. I've never told it. I I tried to tell my wife this two nights ago, and I couldn't get it out. So. My father, uh, he's a disabled veteran, or he, he was a disabled veteran. He was in the army and got hurt and uh, was in a wheelchair his whole life, um, for all my growing up. He uh, he was my biggest fan. He just wanted to know everything about you know what was going on in the FBI, my stories. Um, I was a local cop before the FBI, and I got to a high speed car chase, uh, you know, and, and foot chase and all that, and kicking doors in. He he, he wanted to hear all those stories and. At some points, I was kind of too cool for school, and ah, oh, dad, I just want a break and all that, and and things going on. And, uh, I we we lost my dad during COVID, um, not because of COVID, but it was around that time. But but it was right when COVID was kicking off, and so he died in the hospital by himself, and I didn't get to see him then. Um, and then uh, my mom had some people visiting her the other night, and uh, the, the Tom and Karen Rogerberg, and I'll say they're my second biggest fans, right behind my dad. Um, they 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 always asking about me and, and my career, and they read the books and seen the movie. They, they'll even tell you that Silk Road movie was good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they'll lie to you on that. But and so they came over and uh, and I, I helped them with something, and, uh, and my mom was called me back a couple days later, and she said, "I appreciate you helping them. I you know I know you know f- fixing someone's Apple phone over the phone really isn't." what you do for a living it's not it's kind of beneath you and all that and uh, but but i appreciate it uh and she said oh they they loved hearing the stories about you know silk road and all those things and she goes you know your, your dad he, he loved those stories he just he i, I just wish he could have heard them. like he even would tell me he would say uh you know maybe maybe chris will come home and uh i'll, I'll get him drunk and, and he'll tell me the stories um but and then she goes uh, maybe one day in, in heaven you can tell him those stories and i fucking lost it I literally stood in my shower sobbing, yeah, like like a, a child, like it, it just thinking about like all my dad wanted was the, those stories, yeah. And now I'm on a fucking podcast telling the stories to the world, and, yeah, uh, and I didn't here. tell him, yeah. So, it, did you ever have like a long heart to heart with him about like about s- s- such stories? He was in the hospital one time, and I went through, and uh, I want to know about his history his life what he did yeah. and i think he maybe sensationalized some of it yeah. uh, but that's what you want your dad's yeah. a hero so you want to hear those things he's a good storyteller um yeah again i don't know what was true and not true but you know <laughs> <laughs> some of it was really good um and, and it was just good to hear his life but yeah. you know we lost him and 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 now those stories are gone you miss him yeah what did he teach you about what it means to be a man So my dad, um, he was a, an engineer. And so part of his job, we worked for um, Vermont Power and Electric or whatever it was. I mean, he, when he first got married to my mom and all that, um, like he flew around in a helicopter, uh, checking out like power lines and dams. He, he used to swim inside to scuba into dams to check to make sure like they were functioning properly and all that. Nice. Pretty cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then... He couldn't walk anymore. I probably would have killed myself if my life switched like that so bad. And yeah. my dad probably went through some dark points, but he hid that from me, maybe. Um, and so to to get through that struggle, to, to teach me, like, you know, you, you press on, you have a family, people count on you, you do what you got to do. Um, that was that was big. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you make him proud, man. I, 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 I'm sure I do, but I don't think he knew that, that I knew that. Well, you get to pass on that love to your kids now. I try, I try, but I, I can't impress them as much as uh, my dad impressed me. <laughs> I can try all I want, but 